we found this grave by matching the picture on Find a Grave with the fence behind us. It wasn't marked anywhere, but this is an important grave. Walk with History today is from Island Cemetery in Newport, Rhode Island. So I'm at Island Cemetery today in Newport, Rhode Island. It's on the corner of Farewell and Warner Street. It's a pretty big area because this encompasses a lot of different cemeteries. There is an African American cemetery here. It's the old burial ground. There's a Jewish cemetery here. And just a lot of history here in this cemetery because this cemetery has been here since 1640. So one of the oldest cemeteries probably even in America. But when you first come in, you're going to see the chapel right behind me and beautiful flowers. But we're gonna take you to a couple graves today, show you around. If you like our content, please like and subscribe. We're trying to beat the History Channel. That is possible. We're only 10 million away, so help us out. We just believe. Behind me is the grave of Oliver Hazard Perry. And you've heard me talk about Oliver Hazard Perry before. We did a whole video on him. He's the hero of the War of 1812 with the flagship Niagara and on the ship Lawrence and the famous flag, don't give up the ship that is now memorialized in the Naval Academy. But this is his grave right here. He was born in August of 1785. He dies in 1819. He's only 34 years old. He dies in Trinidad. His actual tombstone is right over here to the right. And I'm going to leave a flag here for Oliver Hazard Perry because of what he means to the United States Navy and who he is in American history. grave of August Belmont and if that name sounds familiar to you it's because of the Belmont horse race to win the test of the champion the Belmont Stakes it's an older horse race than the Preakness and the Kentucky Derby it's older than all three and August Belmont is the reason for that horse race he's the one who financed it and because of his love of horse racing but what's also interesting about August Belmont is he's his wife is right beside him right here and her name is Caroline Slidell Perry and she is the niece of Oliver Hazard Perry because her father who's right over here Matthew Perry is Oliver Hazard Perry's brother so we have Matthew Perry Commodore in the U.S. Navy who's the father of Caroline Perry, married to August Belmont and the mother of the Belmont family. This whole area is right beside the Belmont Chapel here in Island Cemetery. So this is the grave of Theodore M. Davis. And what you may not know about Theodore Davis, he's a lawyer and businessman. He's responsible for most of the tombs that were excavated in Egypt's Valley of the Kings between 1902 and 1913. Actually, during that time, they excavated over 30 tombs in the area, including Tutankhamun's cremation chamber. And they were just two meters away from actually discovering Tutankhamun's tomb. But what he did for Egyptology, he's credited with finding the most of the tombs in the Valley of the Kings between those years. He's buried here with his wife, uh, Anne, here in Island Cemetery. I'm at the grave of the Auchincloss family here at Island Cemetery. And if you don't recognize that name, that's okay. I didn't either. But you might recognize the name Bouvier. Janet Lee Bouvier Auchincloss is the mother of Jackie Bouvier Kennedy, the mother of our First Lady, who was married to John F. Kennedy. She gave birth to Jackie when she was 22 years old. She's also the mother of her sister, Lee. She was married to Jackie's father, Bouvier first, Auchincloss second, and then she had a third husband as well. But she's buried here with her second husband. I'm gonna leave a flag here for Mrs. Janet Lee Bouvier Auchincloss for what she gave to America with her daughter, uh, Jacqueline Kennedy, and all that Jacqueline Kennedy gave to America. So it's kind of cool to be here today. 
in memory of her. hardest grave to find. So like I've told you before, when you navigate a graveyard, it's very difficult. This was a difficult one to find and we did it with uh, someone who lives here. So shout out to Courtney. Not only am I here because this is one of Courtney's favorite cemeteries, but she sent her friend over to help me find this grave. And we found this grave by matching the picture on find a grave with the fence behind us. And we were able to find it because there was no way to, it wasn't marked anywhere. But this is an important grave. This is Governor Warren, Major General Warren from the Civil War. And if you know anything about Gettysburg and Little Round Top, who's that statue on the top of Little Round Top? It's Major General Warren. And Warren, I, I find him so interesting, not only for that. He, you know, stood out there and had the forethought to say, this will be a pinnacle point of Gettysburg. Even though he personally doesn't defend it, he does say it's a pinnacle point. We know who defended it. If you're a fan of my channel, you know Strong Vincent is the one who defended it. Governor Warren's sister, instrumental in building the Brooklyn Bridge. Her husband, working in the caissons, gets the bends and is unable to work on the bridge for a year after it starts, and she finishes it. His sister finishes the Brooklyn Bridge. She's credited with building it. She's credited with the plan. She's credited with fighting for it. She's credited with doing the calculations for it. So he comes from a family of strong people. So because of that, because of his sister and because of who he is in the Civil War and who he is at Gettysburg, I'm going to leave a flag here for um, Major General Warren. So thank you for what you did for American history. Thank you to your sister for what she did for American history. I'm at the grave of Ida Lewis here at the Island Cemetery. And what's awesome about her, now remember when I talked about lighthouse keepers and how women could have a lot of independence as a lighthouse keeper, especially if their husbands or fathers got sick? Ida Lewis is a perfect example of this. She would row out in her rowboat from the Lime Rock Lighthouse in Newport Harbor and save people's lives. She's credited with saving people's lives in, uh, from the rowboat. Uh, the Yacht Club is named after her in the air, Ida Lewis Yacht Club. Here's the anchor and the oars. This is an awesome monument to her. It looks like a lighthouse beside her, probably a family member relation, and then these pillars that are around. But this is the grave site for Ida Lewis, lighthouse keeper and uh, lifesaver. Midshipman Sherman Mayor Nason. Class of 1911, U.S. Naval Academy. He died in 1910. He lost his life in a heroic effort trying to save another from drowning. And he tried to save a mother from drowning. I was a midshipman, I was in the Navy. I didn't go to the Naval Academy, but Scott did. I'm here for my friend Courtney. She went to the Naval Academy. Thank you, Sherman. I'm gonna leave a flag here for her. She's the one who found this grave. I'm gonna leave a flag here for her. If you're ever in Island Cemetery in Newport, Rhode Island, seek him out. And uh, thank you for joining me on uh, Walk With History. On to my next Walk With History.